The Queen had chosen to meet Willem at Devil's Tower, and not without purpose. The structure stood on an isle, so no foe could approach without first exposing themselves on a narrow bridge. The isle had little vegetation midst which to conceal a large force. A small unit could evade detection. Altogether, not much to fear. No escorts were your terms, began Gascon, with a hint of mischief. But better safe than sorry, I always say. What are you suggesting? Yours truly, and four chaps, behind the walls. Give a signal, any signal, and we'll leap to your side. Meave struggled with her conscience. There was no honour in Gascon's plan, but prudence, certainly. In the end, she nodded in agreement, though not without compunction. Willem arrived soon after, the heavily armoured cavalry he had in tow clearly there to boost his courage. He left them at the foot of the bridge and rode across alone. A stiff wind from the river nearly made off with his ermine fur cloak. Willem and the mother who'd borne him stood face to face. They gazed into each other's eyes, waiting to see who would look away first. When neither did, Meave broke the silence. Time flies, and I have a kingdom to liberate. No need to drag this out. What's this about? Tell me. I thought my messenger already did. Oh, he did. And how? Willem I wishes to arrange a truce. Only, Willem I is in no position to parley on an equal footing. Willem I can, at most, offer his unconditional surrender because Willem I's losing this war. Yes, Mother. I am. And I see that by losing I've at last made you content. Don't play the victim. What next? Will you say you turned cloak because Mummy showed no warmth? Displayed no feelings. It would be unfair any such judgment. You did show feelings, chiefly enmity, contempt. But that's not why I betrayed you. No, I simply disagreed with your choices, assessments. I had every right to do what I considered just and good. And I had every right to voice my view, which you ever ignored. <sighs> Yet this is neither the time nor the place to discuss that. Let us parley as strangers. I'm losing, you say. Willem, we do not meet as mother and son. We meet only as leaders of two armies at war. Can you separate the two? Truly? I must. If only not to lose my mind. I see. Then let us parley. I'm losing, you say. And you're right. But I haven't lost yet. And have no intention to surrender. I am ready, however, to renounce my fealty to the Empire and pledge my forces to you. As long as you fulfil my conditions. Mm-hmm. Let me hear them. First, you will not rescind the reforms I've authorised already, any of them. Second, you will guarantee both my safety and that of my advisers. Third, I shall remain your heir, and next in line for the throne. Impudent child. Insolent beyond all measure. Well, I had to try. Goodbye, Mother. I may you... Hold. I didn't say I reject them. <clears throat> it's come my turn to listen. You're impertinent, Willem. As you should be. Any future king must be certain of himself and his judgments. Rely on none but himself. I... thank you. I never suspected... I'm not done. Time now you heard my conditions. You shall remove crown and royal cloak. You shall labour from dawn till dusk. And you shall fight at the fore in every battle. Is that clear? Yes. Yes, Your Majesty. It's settled then. Now the road beckons. Willem bowed, turned and walked away. Meave followed, still angry, though she could not stifle a smile. Soon thereafter, Meave's army set out towards Rivia Castle. It would not be long now before the decisive battle. I must admit, I was wrong about you. I'm not certain what you mean. How so? Always I thought you unremarkable, average. But this insolence today is anything but dull. It's unparalleled. 
Did you truly think I could forgive you? After you betrayed me, humiliated me so. Not worthy of my crown, that's what you are. Not now, not ever. Oh my. Then we shall meet on the battlefield. The battlefield? <laughs> Sooner put you over my knee and whip you with my crop, boy. Gascon, grab him. With utmost pleasure. What? But we... How could you? It seems betrayal taints our blood, son. Take him away. Meave turned her back on Willem. Now, and for all time. Till the war's end, he remained in chains. And after? I'll tell you soon enough. Soon thereafter, Meave's army set out towards Rivia Castle. It would not be long now before the decisive battle. These terms I cannot accept. Well, I had to try, Mother. Yet I can't deny your courage, either. Come here. Look me in the eye. This... couldn't have been easy. No. It wasn't. I trust when the time comes, you'll show the same nerve on the battlefield. I shall seek out your banner. Let the gods then settle our dispute once and for all. Goodbye, Mother. Willem bowed, turned and walked away. Meave's anger burned still in her gut, beneath a heart now heavy with grief. Soon thereafter, Meave's army set out towards Rivia Castle. It would not be long now before the decisive battle. <laughs>